It is believed that the walls of the mines collapsed on Thursday at around 3 p.m. while he was on his mining expedition, trapping the 25-year-old man inside. <laughs> Efforts by villagers to rescue him by removing the soil debris from the 40-feet tunnel remained futile, with local leaders moving in with excavators. It was realized that uh, he was stuck inside here, so uh, that is when uh, the manpower came to the rescue. They started working right from yesterday and uh, the work is still ongoing as they are continuing and we are waiting for the excavator to come so that it may hasten the speed. Stephen Opuodo, one of the miners, said they usually encourage people to go down the mine pits in groups for security reasons given that non-locals are not conversant with the tunnels. <laughs> He is calling on the government to train small-scale farmers on safe mining and provide them with safety equipment to minimize risk associated with mining. Tunaomba serikali tuletea mafunzo mbaya tunaweza kulenda kukenga nae tendo kama iki. Blames are however traded to both the county and the national governments for failing to establish an emergency response team that can come in handy during such eventualities. Miners are being cautioned against daring the pits, especially during and after heavy rains where the structural integrity of the mine walls are threatened and compromised during such seasons. Asking the government to, uh, to, to assist us so that uh, the, the local uh, uh, people may be very well conversant with uh, the excavating of uh, gold so that people uh, should not be stuck inside. The incident comes just days after another one collapsed, trapping at least 10 miners in Siaya County. Martin Opio, K24 TV.